What's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. We're going to do a stage 5 shift and tune, a stage 6 shift and tune, a live racing setup if we can find one, and a review on the KRC Japan GTR R35. Huge shout out to YouTuber Asho Speed the King. There's a link to his channel in this video's description. Check him out. When the car is 100% maxed out with all the upgrades and all the fusions, nitrous all the way to the right, final drive 2.0, tire pressure 8 psi. And that's going to give us a 7.255 on the dyno time. To drive this, we're just going to let go of the gas right before launch, instantly shift into the second, hit your nitrous, all the rest of the shifts right before the red line. So second nitrous, third, fourth, my nitrous didn't go off. What a bunch of bull crap that was. Let's Three, see what time two, one, go. Second nitrous, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, and that's all she wrote. Very easy car to drive and shift. There we got a 7.2 something. What did we run? There we got a 7.220. Not too bad. I think my fastest run so far was a 7.214. But hey, 7.220. Not too bad. Now we're going to fit the car to stage 5 parts and do a stage 5 shift and tune. When the car has all the fusions and all the stage 5 parts installed, you're going to put your nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive 2.0, tire pressure on 8 PSI, and that is going to give us an 8.336 on the dyno. It looks like we're going to drive this the same way. Let go of the gas right before launch, instantly shift into second, hit your nitrous, and all the rest of the shifts right before the red line. 3, 2, 1, go. Second, third nitrous. Why did I say that? Second nitrous, not second, third nitrous. So launch, shift into second right away, and then hit your nitrous. Don't listen to old Danny Lightning. He doesn't know how to speak today. There we got an 8.293. Not too bad. If you want to live race this car, I'm going to show you how to set it up for live racing. It should do okay. I don't expect this to be the world's best live racer, but I think you'll definitely win some races with this low performance point, low upgrade setup here. So we're going to put our engine on stock, turbo on stock, intake on stock, nitrous stage 5, body stage 4, tire stage 5, transmission stage 5. Put your nitrous on 112 and 4.9, final drive 3.14, tire pressure 8 psi, that's going to give us a 10.999, so we want to make the car run as fast, as close to 11.0 as possible. We don't want to run faster than 11.0, that way the car stays in the, 10, the 11 second lobby. 3, 2, 1, go. Second nitrous, third, fourth, fifth, sixth gear, and that's all she wrote. Let's run her on down the line and see what time she runs right there. And there we got about an 11.0 something. What did we get? 11.031. So this will probably win a few live races. All right. So there you have it. Probably not going to be the world's best live racer, but it might do decent. Let's go ahead and review this baby. Will this car beat Tempest 1, 2, and 3? Well, yes. If you get enough parts on it, it should do the job. It has a top speed of about 365 miles per hour. 0 to 60 in about 0. Point, what was it? Holy crap, I lost it. Hold on. 0. 0.8 and 0 to 100 in about 1.2. It's a really cool looking car with decent specs, but I'm not going to say it's one of the better cars in the game. I mean, it's nice. It, it's kind of fast. It's got decent 0 to 60 time, decent top speed, decent 0 to 100 time. You might be able to win a few live race with... Oh my god, you might be able to win a few live races with it here and there, but I wouldn't expect it to be the world's best car. So should you upgrade this one? Well, if you don't already have a good tier 5 car and you happen to get this and you just need to upgrade something that works, hey, this will be pretty good. If you've already got a bunch of really good tier 5 cars sitting around, I'm not sure I see the point of upgrading this one, honestly. Cool car, not the world's best, but you know, it, it's okay, pretty decent. Not great, not bad, not horrible, not awesome, just kind of nice, I guess. Yeah, there we go, kind of nice. That's my review. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. Don't forget to check out Asho Speed the King. We're using his account today to make this video. There's a link to his channel in the video's description. Also down there in the description, you'll find ways to help support my channel. Links to lighting, camera gear, microphones, anything you need for your YouTube or podcasting needs. 
you'll find links to my other YouTube channels, my Discord server, my merch store, and all kinds of stuff down there. So drop down that video's description and check that out if you if you feel the need. And hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will catch you next time. Lightning out. See ya.